Okay, so today we've got this fancy dingus. So I'm gonna uh, let you guys see the pen so you know nothing's goofed with. Because I'm not gonna rip this apart. I don't want to break this one. Man. Fairly decent shot of the fairly decent one. Both sides intact. Both sides have the center pin. Push in on it. That moves. That pin moves. Key works. Key doesn't work. And then I will take and I'll throw it in the vise. And then I will poke a couple of the pins to both shear lines just so you can see that it is indeed legit. If I can get around my camera here, not be in the way. So I have a notched out wrench so I can tension it and not interfere with that ring on the outside. Oop. I'm going to have my thumb way far up because this lock needs like such tiny amounts of tension. So first click, second click, and that's bottomed out. First click, second click. So there's two shear lines in it. I don't think you can even take a shear line out and have the lock still work. But just in case people are questioning it. So there's springy on one. This lock's an absolute pain in the ass. Springy two. Three. Four doesn't set yet. Five. This pin never really goes springy. So you gotta guess. And kind of play with the tensioner a little bit. And see what you can get out of it. At some point it'll feel kind of right, I guess. And that one goes springy. And it's all just play from here. And two, three. As things pop up and things get caught in grooves, you just kind of slowly find the binding order for everything. That's how you get everything to where it needs to be. A little bit of spring that's the level see how much spring there is in that that's too much spring that tiny bit of spring is what you're looking for when everything is set properly so you just want to keep working down through the spools or serrations or whatever they are bit by bit until oh, that cocked over a lot that is open <laughs> so that's actually a really good time so it is open I don't want to turn it too far because that's what people say would break it but if I let it go here you'll watch it snap back locked again so there there's my two reds uh, Pollock 7000 and what was it the the RS8 I think the Dom here whatever whatever this guy was so uh, yeah time to work on the black